so hi and this is tattoo goddess and this is my entry for the sigma makeup brush giveaway by picture s makeup on youtube and i decided to do my 10 items as well as my makeup tutorial my favorite 10 items um aren't necessarily all makeup but they are makeup related my first favorite makeup would be the Kat Von D palette in Beethoven. Um, I really, really like this palette. It's got a lot of different colors that you can work with. I especially like um, the black and the yellow. Um, the yellow is a great highlighter and the black is um, great for doing those smoky cat eye looks. Um, there's also two in here that are kind of glittery, shimmery. The purple is definitely glittery, so it's really cute for a night out on the town. Um, <clears throat> the powders are great. They're highly pigmented. Um, the palette actually is $38 at Sephora, so it is a little bit spendy, but it's definitely worth the money. My second favorite makeup item is this giant fluffy brush. Um, I got this actually from Walmart. Um, it was about $6.50, I think. I can't remember the exact name. I think it's like Back to Basics. It's the somewhat cheap brush, but it works wonderful. Um, the bristles really don't fall out. I had a couple fall out. Um, when I washed it, but that's normal because it's the first time. Um, but this is great for everything. It's great for powder. It's great for blush. It's great for bronzer. It really just works for anything. Um, and it gets, you know, the flyaways off from your eyeshadow as well. Um, so I definitely love, 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 love this brush. It's better than a kabuki, I think. My next favorite item would be the uh, Dalla Dio Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Um, my dog actually chewed this one up, but it lasts for a super long time. I've had this for probably about a year now, which I know you're not supposed to keep them for that long, but um, I got this at Sally's Beauty. I think it was $3, um, but I absolutely love this product. Um, and the number on it is ELL260. Um, I don't use it on my waterline because it doesn't tend to stick quick enough. Um, and the one I use on my waterline, I'll show you here in a bit. <clears throat> but this is like a perfect eyeliner to do, you know, Egyptian eyes or cat eyes. Um, and it sticks all day. So it's a great little eyeliner and it's very cute. My next favorite item would be the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. Now, I think this is um, almost comparable to the Max Fluid Line. Um, but I would say Max Fluid Line is better. Um, I just don't have a Max store around me, so I couldn't buy it, so I got the Bobbi Brown. Um, it's definitely, you know, it's a good product. It's called Black Ink. Um, this is what I use in my water lines, and I will use it up here <clears throat> above my water lines as well. Um, I think it cost me, I want to say 23 for this little guy. Um, and it doesn't seem to quite last as long as Max. Um, but I wear makeup every day now as opposed to when I wasn't wearing makeup every day. Um, but this is a great product. It's not going to budge. Um, I used this in some of my lines in my makeup tutorial that I did before. Um, and it really takes a lot to get this off your face, let me tell you. I'd use shampoo um, by Rusk to get it off because it just did not want to come off. Um, but yeah, I like this little eyeliner. Now my next product every girl should have in her arsenal, and if you don't, you better go out and buy it. It's Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Everybody knows about this, and if you don't, go to Sephora and read about it. Um, this little guy will make your eyeshadow stick, and it will not come off. You can sleep through this stuff, and it'll still be on the next day. Um, you can use this to... Um, make a base for your really cheap eyeshadows and make them even more brilliant. Um, I actually have really cheap eyeshadow coming up that I only use this with um, because it just does not show up, I guess I should say. Um, this is $17 at Sephora. They do have another one that's a little bit bigger. I think it's $23. Um, but I love this, love this little guy. This is like the staple of my makeup kit. I cannot live without it. Um, and I'm sure all you guys know about it. So this is this is a good product. The next one is my mascara. It is the Maybelline the Colossal Volume. I absolutely love this. This makes my eyelashes huge. Um, this is my second choice. My first choice is um, the Clinique. I can't remember what exactly um, 
mascara it is. I think it's in a green tube. Um, but I just haven't been able to go get any. I've been kind of broke. This is the next step down from it. Um, it's, I think, like six bucks. It's not too bad. Um, but I absolutely love this mascara. I have very full eyelashes and I naturally have very thin. So this really does wonders and you don't have to put a primer on prior to it. So uh, the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Now my next favorite isn't for everybody. Um, it is Makeup Forever's Professional Red Eyeshadow. Um, now not a lot of people wear, wear red eyeshadow, but I'm one of those people that likes to go all out and just wear crazy colors. I'm in cosmetology school. Um, so I'm just, I'm kind of out there. I love to play with makeup. Um, this is called, um, N99. It says blush powder, but it is also an eyeshadow. Um, it's a great eyeshadow for doing like Rastafarian looks or gothic looks or, um, you know, it's just an all over creative eyeshadow. Um, but it's definitely for those, uh, that like to push the boundaries because it is, you know, it's red eyeshadow or red blush. Um, but this is my favorite. I love it. Love it. Love it. Looked for about four months for it. It was, um, $14 at Sephora and it's makeup forever. Now my next one is probably the cheapest I have in my group of favorites. Um, it is NYC's translucent powder. Um, when I don't feel like wearing, you know, heavy, heavy makeup with lots of concealer foundation, um, this is what I tend to wear is this translucent because it does kind of cover up some of the blemishes I have and I can spot, um, put my concealer on and just put some of this over and it blends very, very well. I think this was $2 at Walmart. It was very cheap and it has a great consistency to it. Um, sometimes some of the cheaper stuff is kind of crap. Um, like NYC's or, uh, there's another brand. Wet n Wild, their gel eyeliner was horrible, but I absolutely love the brush that it came with. The brush I use every day now. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's NYC's Translucent Powder. And it's, uh, 701A. Now, my next favorite thing is LA Colors, um, metallic... I don't know what you call it, metallic eyeshadow kit. Um, it is BES432, um, it's called Tease, and this can be bought at like any Dollar General. Supposedly they have it at Walgreens, but I haven't seen it. Um, I bought it at Dollar General for $1.50, and as you can see, the yellow, I used quite a bit of that last night. Um, <clears throat> but this is just a great... Um, eyeshadow kit, and this is the one I was saying you have to use the um, primer potion with because otherwise the colors don't show up that great. But if you like wearing lighter colors, this would probably work for you. I personally like wearing my colors very dark, um, but this is a great little kit for a buck fifty. Um, you can pretty much get their whole line for fifty dollars, it's kind of crazy. Um, but I really, really love this kit. Now, my other one I don't have. It's in the other room and I don't feel like getting it. It's Neutrogena's Oil-Free uh, SPF 15 Moisturizer. Um, I really love Neutrogena's line of moisturizers. They make my uh, skin feel really soft. And where I live, we have really super hard water. Um, so my face is constantly getting you know, those dry patches all over. Um... So I like this moisturizer because it gets rid of those dry patches and I can still use an astringent and a cleaner and then put the moisturizer on and I don't have those dry patches um, or it looks like my skin shedding when I wear concealer. This is an amazing product and it's only I think six or seven dollars. It's very cheap. It's very affordable and it works better than any other moisturizer that you can get at Walmart or Sephora. It works just as well. It's it's a great moisturizer. It's not oily because it's oil free. Um, and it does kind of tend to sit on top of the skin for a while, which is fine by me. You know, I can soak into my skin throughout the day. Cool. Um, but I really, really love that product. So um, that would be my top 10 favorite items. Some of them may be a surprise. Some of them may not. So anyways, thanks guys. Bye.